going on guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Paul Feig's new film, A Simple Favor. The movie ever stars Anna Kendrick as a mommy blogger who befriends Blake Lively's character who turns out to be this big PR assistant for this HUD honcho and as them becoming friends she starts to understand that she might not be letting on as much as she wants to and after picking up one of her kids and just doing a simple favor for her, she disappears and it's up to Anna Kendrick to snoop her out. It's really cool to see that he's working with Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively, but overall, what is a simple favor for me? It's just a simple film. And it sucks to say that because I think Paul Feig is a brilliant director and a brilliant writer, but it's not that good. There are awesome moments to it, which I will talk about right now, which is really the performances. Blake Lively is awesome in here. She's such an underrated actor, and the dynamics she brings to her character are jazzy, she is charismatic, and she has that badass mom attitude that you love. But she also has this best friend, Anna Kendrick, who Anna Kendrick steals the film. I find Anna Kendrick to be so underrated. Anytime people talk about actresses, no one ever brings her up, and people need to be bringing her up. She fits the quirky comedy that Paul Feig puts into this film, and it really works. It made a lot of the comedy moments in the end work out because yes it's that quirky awkward humor that she's very good at but he imposes on that and makes it even better he steals the film in general because of her performance she's so good in this Harry Golding shows up in this film as well of course he's known for doing crazy rich Asians this year he was fine in this um I, I don't think she, he was given enough meat to bite down on the roll perhaps I think he was better fit for crazy rich Asians but he still did a good job and this is a mystery film and Paul Feig has never really done a mystery type of movie before that's where I was intrigued to see this movie, and the mystery works for 65% of this movie. The rest of the movie, in fact, though, not the best. And that's where I was really disappointed in it. When I say really disappointing is because the first 65% of this movie is, I thought, brilliant, to be honest. I, I was really high on this movie. I thought the humor was mixing in perfectly with the mystery. I was laughing. I was enjoying the quirky humor. I was enjoying the mystery and getting myself in like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? But the thing about mystery films is that if you're intrigued that much, the ending has to land. And for me, the ending did not land. That's where a lot of my cons get to is that the film, one, feels way overly long way overly long to the point where I was sitting there getting bored. I stopped laughing. I sat there and I was like moving around in my seat and I wasn't the only one. My friend was moving around. The people around me were moving around. Everyone's kind of just getting uncomfortable and they're like, okay, let's just get to the ending. And that's where I was getting to. And then it ends and then it continues and then it ends again. And it had like four or five different endings that really in the end killed the film for me and got me to the point where I was sitting there saying, one, I'm confused as hell to what's even going on, two, what the hell is going on, and three, what the f***? That's where I got to, and that's what sucks, because I was so invested in the story and figuring out the mystery, and it just kept ending, and just kept going on, and I just wanted it to end at that point with time. I understand what was going on. I put every piece together. It was overly explaining it for me, and I know this is based off a book, and sometimes when you take a novel that's supposedly really good, sometimes you have to change up some things, and I don't know how true they were to the book, if they were completely different, if they changed a lot of stuff, or they just took the simple concept and ran with it. I didn't read the book, so if you have read the book, let's talk about it down below, but... I just never felt like it captured me, and in the end, as great as Paul Feig's directing was for this, I feel like the writing is the big issue for this film. To be honest, if Anna Kendrick did not play this character, I would have hated the humor from her character. But since she's so good at being that quirky, adorable type of character, she fits for this motherly role. For all, it's hard for me to recommend a simple favor. I liked some aspects of it. And I disliked a lot of aspects of it. And that's what sucks to say. I think Anna Kendrick is fantastic in here. Blake Lively is charming. And Henry Golding, of course, is just fine. But it really boils down to that mystery element. You're locked in for 65% of that movie. And then the rest of the film just kind of topples over and dies. Again, that's where I get into a mystery. If I'm invested and it doesn't stick the landing, the film can fall very flat for me. And that's where I'm kind of at with some good humor paced throughout here with a decent story that just doesn't stick the landing film that stays its course way too long and should have ended at least 20 minutes beforehand it's hard to say that this mystery film is any more than just a simple mystery with all that said i'm gonna give a simple favor a c minus me guys what are you guys thoughts on a simple favor did you guys like the film did you not like it were you looking forward to this film let's talk about it down below i'm really curious to hear you guys thoughts on this one if you guys enjoyed it more than me please tell me down below Maybe I was just too invested and I got a little bit disappointed. I was glad it wasn't predictable, but it just 
went too far. Also, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens like this film, check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy. <laughs> we